This is the Tulsa World Podcast. This is Jason Collington, uh, editor of the Tulsa World. I'm here speaking with Bill Haston, our sports columnist. He writes about high school football. He writes about OSU and OU and everything else going on in the sporting world. Bill, this week is kind of a, uh, might be a big week for both OU and OSU. Uh, you are in Stillwater right now at gallagher Iba. Um, what's the mood in Stillwater, would you say, nowadays? Uh, relative, let's say, just, just think about where this uh, campus was about a year and a couple of days ago after the Bedlam game, Jason, and maximum energy, maximum collective uh, happiness, the most joyous crowd I've ever seen after any sporting event. And then now this campus, uh, I, not that I've walked end to end, but typically you kind of feel the energy on this campus when football is going well. And obviously uh, it's just a miserable season. And the, uh, the reach of this bad season goes way beyond the football program uh, because this school relies so incredibly heavily on football revenue. And now, uh, it's very uh, interesting, Jason, that while they bragged in the preseason about having such an experienced returning roster, like 40 guys are going to be out of here after this season. And most of those guys will have to be replaced in the portal. And the real difference makers in the portal come with a price. Uh, so uh, so the timing was there's never a good time to drop a three and nine kind of a season. Right. Uh, along with uh, head coaching missteps like Mike Gundy made last week with his commentary and I, what I thought was a misstep in the post game the other night when he refused to talk about his misstep and refused uh, to even talk about the end of the bowl streak. He said, I'm talking about football only, which the only two topics that even mattered in that post game Saturday night, Jason were the end of the bowl streak and Brennan Presley, the greatness of Brennan Presley, nothing else matters. Uh, so, uh, lots of issues over here. Uh, I'm scheduled to speak later today with uh, the athletic director, Chad Weiberg. Very interested to see where his mind is on all of this. And like you say, I mean, there's two games left uh, with regard to the big picture. They're not that meaningful, but uh, maybe they are with regard to the, uh, you know, the, the, what the staff looks like next year. Uh, and you know, you go in three and nine and these next two games look bad, uh, and you're relying on donations to float the NIL operation over here. Not good. Not good. In fact, John Smith, the retired wrestling coach over here, Hall of Fame wrestling coach, famously said about 10 years ago, a few years ago, if you love OSU wrestling, buy football season tickets. Mike Holder at Boone Pickens Memorial Service said, he 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 uh, he talked about the importance of buying football season tickets at Boone Pickens Memorial, and he said Boone would have wanted me to do this. So that's the importance of football uh, revenue over here, and for football tickets to be sold, and for the donations to flow at a nice level. And you wonder what this kind of season, what the impact might be on the generosity of of a fan base that to me feels like it's already stressed maybe to the to the limit as it is and now you're you're asking them to pour money more money into an nil program of a possibly three and nine football team and the the chad weiberg made national news not too long ago when they announced some concerts at boone Pickens stadium uh bringing back cross canadian ragweed a, a a band that was at the wormy dog every every night it seemed like back in my college career and right. uh also uh bringing back the turnback turnpike troubadours um there's some action going on nil wise they they sold out not just one but several concerts uh which is not you know which is a, kind of a probably the biggest funder the fundraiser they've had so far nil wise right. um but looking into next season it seems like the portal is going to be more important and it's going to be more important because this team is old and they've got a lot of people leaving after this year that's right. Well, the, but I think the, the the potential departures that are most uh, on the minds of the OSU fans, I don't know if you noticed yesterday during the OSU basketball telecast, but a, a fan leaned over into the shot when the, they were doing like an isolation shot of the talent at, at courtside, at courtside, you know, talking about the game, right? And a fan leaned over with his phone. And on the phone in large lettering, it said, fire, done, and nardo. And, 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 of course, everybody did screenshots and screen caps, and it got shared everywhere. So um, 
football right now is is uh, the, the the condition of the football program. Only one year after a ten win season, and high expectations. And can OSU be the big dog of the new Big Twelve? Oh baby! And now you're you're uh, you're creeping up on the finish line of a broken season, and creeping up on a big big rebuild uh, task. And it's too bad too, Jason, because Brennan Press is a great college football player. And you yes. hate to see him go yes. out on this kind of a, a, of a trash season. But it is. It, it's a garbage season. And congratulations to him. Uh, an undersized, overlooked, great high school po- football player at Bixby who was not recruited by TU. And I'll never forget that. And I'll make reference to that for as long as I write sports for the Tulsa World because I still can't believe it. But great job, Brennan Presley. He's just the all-time gamer. And now it's hard to believe after one after the end of his freshman regular season, Jason, he had one catch. And now he's the all-time leader at OSU. So great job, Brenda Presley. You deserve better than this. Um, but you know, and it all starts, Jason, uh, with the quarterback position. They gotta get good at quarterback because they haven't yep. been consistently yep. good at quarterback since Mason Rudolph. That's a long time ago. So it is. Well, thank you, Bill. I appreciate the yep. little update. We are doing a regular uh, check-in with you every Monday going forward, and we will look for not only this, but uh, the rest of our OSU coverage at osusportsextra.com. Thank you.